The Negro poet says, I've known rivers, but you ain't never been in an avalanche like this. You ain't never had to deal with this level of opposition. You've never had to face this heavy of an attack. You ain't never been broke like this. You ain't never been depressed like this. You, you ain't never been this empty. It's the worst storm you ever been in. If it wasn't that heavy, I wouldn't even be sitting in here. But it's serious what I'm dealing with right now. This is, it's so serious, I don't even like talking about it. If I talk about it, it's either going to make me angry or it's going to make me cry. And the storm is not just affecting me. It's affecting everybody that's connected to me. Y'all ain't never been there, but I, you know you really anointed when everybody in your crew going through at the same time. Oh, I can't hear nobody here. Everybody who you close with dealing with something. Y'all can't even ask each other for help because all of y'all got your back up against the wall. And the Bible says the storm hit everything. I'd be all right, Rev, if what I was going through we're just spiritual. The storm I'm in is, is affecting my relationships. It's affecting my friendships. It's, it's affecting my kids. It's even affecting me physically. You gotta forgive me for you. You got so many superficial people who's sitting around you who can't even identify at this deep-seated level of grief. And what really ticks you off is hearing people complain about petty stuff. And they don't know what I'm dealing with. I'm up to here. And, I'm, and folk got an attitude because you ain't tell them about how you feel and what you're struggling with. But, but you didn't even have the words to match the emotion. But I came into God's house just, just to find out, God, can you make it stop? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just make it stop. It stop. It just keeps storming. Car breaking down. Just make it stop. I am. Bills keep rising. Make it stop. My, my children are getting worse. Make it stop. And come to play church. I came to get in God's face. All right. All right. You got my attention now. Make it stop. Y'all ain't never been there. I don't need you to talk to your neighbor. I, I don't even need you to say it to yourself. But would you throw your head back and just beg God and say out loud with everything that you can muster, Lord, make it stop. I don't want another funeral in my family. I don't want nobody else being in a financial crunch. I don't want 
want my child mistreated. I don't want to be in another bad, senseless relationship. Make it stop. I can't find the worshipers. Watch this. God says, if you give me glory, I'm changing the environment of your child.
love this. Listen, y'all know that I'm kind of an observant person. I find revelation in everything. If you go to an amusement park, look at the roller coasters. There are two types of roller coaster riders. There's one, like me, who's very quiet, holds on to the bar real tight. And then you have another one, they just throw up their hands and scream. Ah! The weird part about it is me who's sitting there trying to be all cool about it. And I'm holding everything in. I'm feeling all those drops way more than the people that have their hands up shouting. And it just seems like in this season, it just seems like God is purposely putting me through a little bit of roller coaster action, some rises and some falls, just to see if for once 